Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to import the Reno demo. On this domain I have installed the team and the team included plugins. And the first step that I need to take is to activate the team. Here I need to add my license code and press check license. I added the license code, I will click check license and now my theme is activated. The second step that I need to take before the demo import is to install the SVG support plugin. The theme supports SVG icons for features and amenities and for the SVG icons to be imported along with the demo content, the plugin needs to be installed. I will show, I will go to plugins, I will click add new and I will look for the SVG support plugin. This is the plugin that I need to install. I will click install now. I will activate the plugin. You can find it here. And next I can proceed with the Reno demo import. I will go to VP Residence options, import demo. Here you will find all team included demos. You can import only one. If you change your mind, you will need to reset database and after import a new demo. I will look for the Reno demo. This is the one. I will click import demo and continue and import. I will wait for the Reno demo to be imported. The import process might take a few minutes. The demo content was successfully imported. Next I will show the steps that you need to take after the demo import. First you will need to set permalinks correctly. For that you will need to go to settings permalinks. The permalinks need to be set as postname. I will save the change. The next step is to change the demo team options. For that you will need to go to VP Residence options and start with the general section. Here you will need to replace all demo settings with your own. I will show a quick overview of the existing options. In general, you will find settings for user role, appearance, logos and other sections. For example, here you can set your country. In logos and favicons, you need to replace the demo logo with your own. In header and footer, you will need to make the settings that you want for the header and footer sections. Next, you'll have social and contact. Here, you need to replace the demo contact details with your own. You need to replace the details here. Also, you can set your social accounts, enable social login and make other settings. Next, in map, you need to decide on the map system that you want to use. You can use OpenStreet or select Google Maps. If you want to use Google Maps, then a Google Maps API key will need to be created and added in the team. Next, in property page section, you have all team available options for the property page layout. We also have dedicated video tutorials for almost each section in the team options. You can check those videos for more details. Next, you'll have property card design. Here, you can customize the property cards. Next, in design, you can manage colors and other design elements. In email management, you can make settings for the notifications that will be sent from your site. Next, in membership, you can select the submission type that you want to use. You can have free submission per listing or with membership packages. Here, in this section, you will also find the payment settings. You can set PayPal or Stripe from the team, or you can enable WooCommerce payments and use any WooCommerce add-on for payments in your site. Next, you will have search. In this section, you can manage the team advanced search. Here, you can select the team advanced search type and make other settings. The settings made here will not apply for the search forms created with the search form builder widget for Elementor. This was just a quick overview. You will need to check each section and make the settings that fit your site. Next, I will go on front end. This is the home page. You can see that the demo content was imported, but you will need to make some manual adjustments to make the home page show exactly as the one in the official demo. For example, manual adjustments will be required for the search and for the sections that display categories like this one and this one. 
the home page was created with Elementor. So to adjust these sections, you will need to edit the page with Elementor. First, I will show what you need to do for the search. I will select the search. You can see that it was created with the search form builder widget. The settings from team options for search will not apply here. Since on import, the categories IDs will be different. The category that we used in our official demo for the tabs will need to be manually selected. This is the official demo. Here we have sales and rentals. I will select the same for the search. I will save the changes made, I will refresh the page, I will select again the search and now I need to go to form fields and assign each field to each category added as tab. I will start with the first one, I will select here the category, I will do the same for the second category and I will save the changes made. I will go back in home page and on refresh the search will show exactly as the one in the official demo. Going back to Elementor editor I will scroll down to the section that was created with categories. Here this section was created with the VP residence category grids builder. We set the section to show category. For each category used here an image will need to be manually uploaded. For that, I will need to go to Admin. All property categories can be found under Properties. The categories are Categories, Type, City, Neighborhood, County, State, Features and Amenities and Property Status. I will select Categories and now I will start adding images for the categories. First, I will need to edit the category. Press the Upload Image button. You can select an image from media or upload one from your device. In this case, I will select an image from my device. I will click insert into post and update. Now I will go back on home page and I will refresh the page again. I will scroll down to the section that was created with categories and now you can see the image that I just uploaded. I will show another example for an area category going to the Elementor editor. Here in the second section we used the same widget just that this time we set to display areas. I will go back to the property categories. I will go to areas or neighborhood. To add an image I will do the exact same steps. I will edit the category. I will click upload image. I will upload an image from my device and update. We'll go back on home page and refresh again and this is the image that I just uploaded. Since the steps are exactly the same, I will add the rest of the images of the record and after show the results. I added all images. Now both sections show as the ones in the official demo. These are the steps that you need to take after the demo import. Next, I will show some quick guidelines on how to edit the homepage elements. I will go back to the Elementor editor. I have Navigator enabled to have better access to each section and I will start with the first one, which is the header one. We created the header section with two columns. I will open here to show. We added this gray image as background for the first column. To change this image, you will need to select the column and go to style. Here in background overlay, you will see this image, which is the one here, and you can delete it and replace it with your own. Next, in the first column, we added text with the heading widget for Elementor. You will be able to edit it and replace it with your own text. And in the second column, we added this image. You can change it and replace it with your own by going to style. Here you can delete it and upload a new image. In the next section, you'll have the search. To make it show over the header section in advanced, we added these values. The search was created with the search form builder. You can change the fields 
add new one or remove the existing one and make other settings. In the next section, we created a section that will display the latest properties. To make this graphic, we used the divider element or widget. You can remove it or change it. The text was added with the heading widget from Elementor and the properties list was added with the VP Residence items list widget. You can change the settings for this widget. You can add filters or change the properties number. We enabled the display as grid option and when this option is enabled, the number of units per row will be calculated based on the minimum width value that was added here. If I disable the option, then the settings here, number of items and number of items per row will apply. Going further to the next section, here we created an about section. We added more columns. These images can be changed from each column style. You can see I selected the first column and in style I can change the first image. The same for the second column. Here we also added the VP Residence video player widget and you can change the video that will play when this button will be pressed. In the next column you also have an image that can be replaced from style. And for the final column here we added this graphic with the divider widget and we added text with heading widget. For this section we used the icon box widget from Elementor. You can change the icon and the text. And lastly we added a button. Using the button widget from Elementor you can change text, color, link and other settings. Going further to the next section. Here we have a section created with the VP Residence category Grids Builder. We have set this widget to display category but you can change the category and other settings we added two widgets. The first one will display three categories and the second one will display other three categories. Going further, you will have the section that will display property by area. We used the same widget, just this time we set it to display areas. You can change settings. Going to the next section, we have testimonials section. Here we use the same divider widget and heading widget and to display client testimonials we use VP Residence testimonial widget. You will have the option to change client name, title, image and make other settings. You will need to do this for each element added in this section. Going further we have created a section to display agents. For that we use the VP Residence agent grids widget. Here you can change the grid type, you can select manually the agents that will be displayed and you can make other settings. Next we have a blog post section. To display the blog posts we use the VP Residence blog post list. You'll have many options. We enabled the grid option and in this case the number of posts per row will be automatically calculated based on the unit minimum width selected here. If you increase then the number of units per row will change. If you disable this option then the settings made here number of items and number of items per row will apply. And going further to the last section in the page, here we created a section with a contact form and an image. The contact form was created using the contact form builder. Here you'll have the option to change the form fields. This image was added as background for the, for the column, so you will need to select the column and go to style. In background overlay, you'll find the image and you will be able to replace it with your own. This was a quick overview on how to edit the homepage element. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.